Welcome to the channel, everybody. I'm excited to be your guide today as we explore the top 10 places you've just got to see in Europe in 2024. Whether you're a seasoned traveler with a well-stamped passport or you're just starting to dream of your first European adventure, we've got a little something for everyone on this list. Europe's a tapestry of cultures, history and just plain beautiful scenery. From the sun-kissed beaches of the Mediterranean to the charming cobblestone streets of medieval cities, there's a magic here that's hard to find anywhere else. Over the next few chapters, we're going to dive into some of the continent's most iconic cities and jaw-dropping landscapes. We'll uncover hidden gems, share practical travel tips, and give you a taste of what it's like to experience these incredible destinations firsthand. So pack your bags, grab your travel journal, and get ready to be inspired, because we're about to embark on an unforgettable journey through the best of what Europe has to offer. First up, we're heading to the City of Lights, Paris. This romantic metropolis is a feast for the senses with grand boulevards, world-class museums, and a certain je ne sais quoi that lingers in the air. Of course, no trip to Paris is complete without a visit to the iconic Eiffel Tower. This Iron Lady has been watching over the city since 1889, and the views from the top are simply breathtaking. Grab a crepe from a nearby vendor and savor the panoramic view. It's a truly unforgettable experience. Speaking of unforgettable, the Louvre Museum is another must-see. Home to masterpieces like the Mona Lisa and the Venus de Milo, it's a treasure trove of art and history. Just be prepared for crowds, especially during peak season. But Paris isn't just about grand monuments and famous artwork. Some of the city's greatest charms are found in its charming cafes and hidden courtyards. So take some time to wander, get lost in the ambiance and soak it all in. From the romance of Paris, we journey south to the eternal city, Rome. Steeped in history, culture, and la dolce vita, Rome is a place that truly transports you through time. Our first stop has to be the Colosseum, that iconic symbol of ancient Roman might. Imagine the gladiatorial combats, the roar of the crowd, the spectacle that once unfolded within those ancient walls. It's a truly humbling experience to stand where emperors once stood and contemplate the vast history of this place. Just a stone's throw from the Colosseum lies the Roman Forum, the heart of the ancient city. Here, amongst the ruins of temples, basilicas, and government buildings, you can almost hear the echoes of Roman senators debating the fate of the empire. Barcelona, a city where the spirit of Picasso and Gaudi dance in the streets. And speaking of Gaudi, no trip to Barcelona is complete without a visit to his unfinished masterpiece, the Sagrada Familia. This basilica is a whimsical blend of Gothic and Art Nouveau architecture, with its towering spires that seem to touch the heavens. You can spend hours just marveling at the intricate facades, each one telling a different biblical story. Now I know what you might be thinking, Rick, this place is always packed with tourists and you're not wrong, but trust me, it's worth braving the crowds. To truly appreciate the scale and grandeur of Gaudi's vision, you have to experience it firsthand. It's like stepping into a dream, a kaleidoscope of colors and shapes that will leave you breathless. And don't just admire it from afar. Venture inside where the forest of columns rises like giant trees bathing the interior in an ethereal light. Look up, way up at the vaulted ceilings, a symphony of geometry and light. You'll find yourself lost in the details, each one a testament to Gaudi's genius. Before you leave, be sure to head down to the crypt, where Gaudi himself is buried. It's a humbling experience to stand in the presence of the man who dedicated his life to creating this architectural marvel. Amsterdam. Uh, a city where the gentle rhythm of life is set by the flow of canals and the whir of bicycle wheels. Forget about taxis or buses. Here the best way to experience the city is like a local on two wheels. The city is designed with cyclists in mind, boasting over 400 kilometers of dedicated bike paths. Whether you're a seasoned cyclist or a casual rider, navigating Amsterdam on a bike is an experience like no other. The freedom to explore at your own pace, stopping whenever something catches your eye, is truly liberating. 
Rent a bike, hop on and let the city unfold before you as you glide along the canals, a symphony of brick houses reflected in the water. Speaking of canals, Amsterdam's UNESCO-listed canal ring is a sight to behold. This intricate network of waterways, stretching over 100 kilometers, is not just a marvel of engineering, but also a testament to the city's rich history. Each canal has its own story, and as you ride along, you'll pass by historic landmarks, quaint bridges and hidden gardens that tell the tale of Amsterdam's past. These waterways, built in the 17th century, are lined with elegant canal houses, each with its own unique gable and history. Take a canal cruise to admire the architecture from the water or simply wander along the banks, soaking up the ambience of this charming city. The canal houses, with their narrow facades and ornate gables, are a window into the lives of Amsterdam's wealthy merchants from centuries ago. As you drift along the canals, you'll see houseboats moored along the edges, adding a touch of modern-day charm to this historic setting. But Amsterdam's charm goes beyond its picturesque canals. This is a city with a vibrant cultural scene, from world-class museums like the Rijksmuseum and the Van Gogh Museum, to cozy brown cafes where you can enjoy a local beer and a hearty Dutch meal. The Rijksmuseum, with its vast collection of Dutch Golden Age paintings, and the Van Gogh Museum, dedicated to the works of the legendary artist, are must-visits for any art lover. And after a day of exploring, there's nothing better than relaxing in a brown cafe, where the warm wood-panelled interiors and friendly atmosphere make you feel right at home. And don't forget about the flower markets, bursting with colourful tulips and other blooms, a feast for the senses. As you explore, be sure to venture beyond the city centre to discover Amsterdam's diverse neighbourhoods. The flower market, located on the single canal, is a vibrant display of colour and fragrance, offering everything from traditional Dutch tulips to exotic plants. It's a perfect spot to pick up a souvenir or simply enjoy the beauty of nature in the heart of the city. From the trendy Jordaan district with its independent boutiques and art galleries, to the up-and-coming Nord district with its industrial chic vibe, Amsterdam has something to offer everyone. The Jordaan, with its narrow streets and charming courtyards, is a haven for artists and creatives, while Nord, with its repurposed warehouses and cutting-edge architecture, is a hub for innovation and modern living. Each neighbourhood has its own unique character and charm, making Amsterdam a city that's constantly evolving and always exciting to explore. From the canals of Amsterdam, we journey south to the sun-drenched Greek islands and specifically to the breathtaking island of Santorini. This island, part of the Cyclades, is renowned for its stunning beauty and unique charm. As we approach, the first thing that strikes you is the contrast between the deep blue of the Aegean Sea and the stark white of the buildings that cling to the cliffs. Picture this, whitewashed villages perched atop dramatic cliffs, their blue domed churches seemingly floating against the azure Aegean Sea. These villages, with their labyrinthine streets and hidden alleys, invite you to explore and discover their secrets. The architecture is a blend of traditional Greek and modern influences, creating a harmonious and picturesque setting that feels almost otherworldly. Add to that the fiery sunsets that paint the sky in hues of orange, pink and purple, and you've got Santorini, a destination that lives up to the hype. Each evening, as the sun begins its descent, people gather at various vantage points to witness this daily spectacle. The sky transforms into a canvas of vibrant colours, reflecting off the sea and the whitewashed buildings, creating a mesmerising display that captivates all who see it. Santorini is an island born of fire, shaped by a volcanic eruption centuries ago. This cataclysmic event not only formed the island's dramatic landscape, but also left behind a rich history and fertile soil that supports the island's vineyards. The volcanic soil gives the local wine a unique flavour, making it a must-try for visitors. This dramatic landscape is part of its allure, creating a sense of awe and wonder. The cliffs rising steeply from the sea offer breathtaking views at every turn. Whether you're standing at the edge of a cliff or looking up from the water, the sheer scale and beauty of the island are truly impressive. And while you can certainly relax on its black sand beaches or take a dip in the crystal clear waters, it's the villages that truly capture the heart of Santorini. Each village has its own unique character and charm, from the bustling streets of Fira to the tranquil beauty of Imeravigli. 
These villages are the soul of the island where you can experience the local culture and hospitality. Start your exploration in Ouya, perhaps the most photographed village in all of Greece. Known for its stunning sunsets and iconic blue dome churches, Oya is a place where every corner offers a postcard-perfect view. The village is a maze of narrow lanes, each one leading to a new discovery. Whether it's a charming cafe, a boutique shop, or a hidden viewpoint. Here, you can wander through narrow lanes lined with whitewashed houses, their blue doors and shutters popping against the bright white. The houses built in the traditional Cycladic style are a testament to the island's rich architectural heritage. As you stroll through the streets, you'll be enchanted by the vibrant colors and the intricate details that make each house unique. Stop at a cafe for a Greek coffee or better yet, a glass of local wine and soak up the views. The island's cafes and restaurants offer not only delicious food and drink, but also some of the best views on the island. Whether you're sitting on a terrace overlooking the sea or in a cozy courtyard, you'll find that the atmosphere is always relaxed and inviting. And speaking of views, don't miss the sunset from Oya's iconic castle ruins. This spot is one of the most popular places to watch the sunset and for good reason. From here, you can see the sun setting over the caldera, casting a golden glow over the village and the sea. It's a moment of pure magic that you'll want to capture and remember forever. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting its golden rays across the Aegean, you'll understand why Santorini's sunsets are legendary. The sky, ablaze with color, reflects off the calm waters, creating a scene that feels almost surreal. It's a time for reflection and appreciation, a moment to pause and take in the beauty of the world around you. It's a magical experience, one that will stay with you long after you've said goodbye to this enchanting island. Santorini is more than just a destination. It's a place that touches your soul and leaves a lasting impression. Whether you're exploring its villages, relaxing on its beaches, or simply watching the sunset, you'll find that Santorini has a way of making you feel truly alive. London, a city that needs no introduction. This vibrant metropolis steeped in history and bursting with modern energy is a must see for any traveler. And when you're in London, you've got to do it right. That means starting with the classics. First up, Big Ben. Now, technically, Big Ben is the nickname of the Great Bell inside the Elizabeth Tower, but everyone calls the whole shebang Big Ben. This iconic clock tower, a symbol of London itself, is a sight to behold. You can practically hear those chimes echoing through the centuries. And just a stone's throw away is Parliament Square, home to the Houses of Parliament. This grand Victorian masterpiece is where British democracy comes to life. Take a stroll through the square, soak in the atmosphere, and imagine the fiery debates happening within those walls. After that, hop on a double-decker bus. You've got to ride at least one while you're here, and head down to Buckingham Palace. This sprawling royal residence is a sight to behold, especially during the changing of the guard ceremony. Just try not to get too distracted by those furry hats. Ah, Prague. This enchanting city with its fairy tale architecture and captivating history feels like it's straight out of a storybook. And trust me, it's even more magical in person. Now, no trip to Prague is complete without a stroll across the Charles Bridge. This iconic bridge, lined with Baroque statues and bustling with artists and musicians, is the heart and soul of the city. Take your time, soak in the views, and maybe even rub the statue of St. John Nepomuk for good luck. It's a local tradition. From the bridge, wander your way into the heart of Prague's Old Town Square. This bustling square, surrounded by colorful buildings and dominated by the towering spires of the tin church, is a feast for the senses. Grab a trdelnik, a delicious chimney cake rolled in sugar and cinnamon, and watch the world go by. Vienna, this grand dame of Europe, with its imperial palaces, world-renowned music, and elegant coffee houses, is a city that exudes sophistication and charm. As you walk through its historic streets, you can almost hear the echoes of centuries past, where every corner tells a story of grandeur and elegance. The city is a living museum. 
where the past and present blend seamlessly, offering a unique experience to every visitor. It's a place to slow down, savor the finer things in life, and maybe even waltz your way into the evening. Imagine yourself strolling along the Danube, the river that has inspired countless artists and musicians as the sun sets and the city lights begin to twinkle. The air is filled with the scent of blooming flowers from the many parks and gardens, and the sound of a distant violin playing a waltz. This is Vienna, a city that invites you to take your time and enjoy every moment. And speaking of waltzing, no trip to Vienna is complete without a visit to the Schönbrunn Palace. This sprawling summer residence of the Habsburg emperors is a masterpiece of Baroque architecture and a testament to Austria's imperial past. The palace, with its 1,441 rooms, is a marvel of opulence and grandeur. Each room is a work of art, adorned with intricate frescoes, gilded mirrors, and exquisite furniture. The gardens, with their perfectly manicured lawns, fountains, and statues, are a paradise for those who appreciate beauty and tranquility. Wander through its opulent rooms, stroll through the meticulously manicured gardens, and imagine yourself as a guest at one of Empress Sisi's legendary balls. The palace is not just a historical monument, it is a place where you can feel the pulse of history, where the past comes alive in the present. As you explore the palace, you can almost hear the rustle of silk gowns and the laughter of courtiers. And you can imagine the grandeur of the imperial balls that were held here. From imperial grandeur to musical masterpieces, Vienna is synonymous with classical music. This is the city of Mozart, Beethoven and Strauss, and its musical legacy is palpable everywhere you go. The streets of Vienna are alive with music, from the grand concert halls to the street musicians who fill the air with their melodies. The city is a haven for music lovers, where you can immerse yourself in the rich musical heritage that has shaped the world of classical music. Catch a performance at the Vienna State Opera, one of the most famous opera houses in the world, or enjoy a concert in one of the city's many concert halls. The Vienna State Opera is a symbol of the city's musical excellence, where the world's greatest musicians and performers come to showcase their talents. The concert halls, with their stunning architecture and acoustics, offer an unforgettable experience for music lovers. Whether you are a seasoned aficionado or a casual listener, Vienna's music scene will captivate and inspire you. And speaking of treats, no trip to Vienna is complete without indulging in its legendary coffeehouse culture. Settle into a cozy booth in one of Vienna's traditional coffee houses, order a steaming cup of Wiener Melange, and savor a slice of Sacher Tort. The coffee houses of Vienna are more than just places to enjoy a cup of coffee. They are cultural institutions where people come to relax, socialize, and enjoy the finer things in life. The rich aroma of freshly brewed coffee, the taste of the decadent Sacher Torte, and the warm, inviting atmosphere make the coffee houses a must visit for anyone coming to Vienna. This is the Viennese way of life. Slow down, relax, and let the world pass by. In Vienna, time seems to stand still, allowing you to fully immerse yourself in the moment. Whether you are enjoying a leisurely stroll through the city's historic streets, savoring a delicious meal at an outdoor cafe, or simply sitting back and watching the world go by, Vienna offers a unique blend of elegance, culture, and relaxation. It is a city that invites you to slow down, take a deep breath, and appreciate the beauty and charm that surrounds you. Dubrovnik, nestled on the dazzling Adriatic coast, is a city steeped in history, where ancient walls whisper tales of empires past. Walking through the old town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site is like stepping back in time. Imagine strolling along the Straden, the limestone-paved main street, bustling with locals and visitors alike. You'll be surrounded by charming shops, cafes, and restaurants housed in beautifully preserved medieval buildings. As you explore, look up and marvel at the architecture, a blend of Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque styles, a testament to the city's rich cultural heritage. Don't forget to pause and soak in the atmosphere, the scent of the sea air mingling with the aromas of fresh pastries and strong Croatian coffee. Edinburgh, Scotland's capital, is a city of contrasts where ancient history meets modern vibrancy. 
Dominating the skyline is Edinburgh Castle, perched atop an extinct volcano, a constant reminder of the city's dramatic past. Take a stroll down the Royal Mile, the historic spine of Edinburgh's old town, connecting the castle to the Palace of Holyrood House, the Queen's official residence in Scotland. Along the way, you'll discover charming pubs, historic churches and hidden closes, narrow alleyways that wind their way through the medieval architecture. Be sure to stop in at a traditional pub for a pint of local ale or a wee dram of whiskey and soak up the lively atmosphere. And if you're lucky enough to be in Edinburgh during the Fringe Festival, prepare to be entertained by street performers, comedians and artists from around the world. Well, there you have it. Ten incredible European destinations just waiting to be explored. From the romantic canals of Amsterdam to the sun-drenched beaches of Santorini, Europe offers something for every traveller. Thanks for joining us on this European adventure. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more travel inspiration. Let us know in the comments which destination you're adding to your bucket list.